Right now, where Will Keneally brings us the latest from Appleton at the state GOP convention, we hear why this event is just a warm up for what continues to be a busy political season. Also, one organization's aim to introduce the world of construction to kids and their families is a potential career. See what cool ways they try to recruit the children. And to Israel, where police in Tel Aviv use water cannons to disperse protesters who are there calling for the release of hostages in Gaza and for the resignation of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. That's all coming up on News 3 Now at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jalen Banks. Republicans from across the state met in Appleton today, holding their annual state party convention. This comes as both parties are gearing up for the presidential campaign this fall. Our political reporter, Will Keneally, has all the details. Yeah, Jalen, no surprises here in Appleton today. Of course, former President Donald Trump will be Republicans' nominee for president this fall. But the open question for Republicans and, well, frankly, both parties is how do they go about motivating their voters to turn out for a 2020 rematch? As you can tell from the crowd here today, we definitely have the energy we need. With the top of the ticket already set, Republicans wanted to focus on the shortcomings of the current administration. Uh, the first point is understanding exactly what the election in November 2024 is about. It is a referendum on Democrat, which is the same thing as radical left, governance. We heard that from Senator Ron Johnson and the man who's running to join him in the U.S. Senate, Eric Hovde. Now, sadly, our country has taken a beating, particularly the last three and a half years. The progressive left that has taken, I'll even call them the progressive socialist left, that has taken over the Democratic Party. Republicans also touched on the economy and border security, issues they think will help turn out their voters. But we also heard Ron Johnson flip the narrative on a key issue for Democrats, abortion. He's been pushing for a referendum on the issue. At what point does society have the responsibility to protect life in the womb? Again, now, I, I, I realize there's a broad spectrum. Many people in this room do not like what I am saying. I'm just laying out the reality situation because in the end, we have to win elections. Now, this is all gearing up for a long and intense campaign season over the summer and fall. If the election were held today, it would be over. Of course, it's not going to be held today. Now, today's convention served as a little bit of a prelude to later in the summer. In July, Milwaukee will play host to the Republican National Convention. That's, of course, when Republicans will formally nominate former President Donald Trump to be their candidate for this fall's election. Reporting from Appleton, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. We will have more insight from inside Dane County's delegation to the state party convention. You can see more this Sunday on 1030 on For the Record. Well, it was a pretty warm day to say the least. To see how long that'll stick around, let's get a look at your first one forecast with meteorologist Jacob Montesano. Jacob? Well, Sunday's going to be warm once again. Maybe not quite as warm as today, but we are going to see more sunshine. Now, looking at the current radar, we did have one severe thunderstorm warning in Sauk County earlier at around 8.45 p.m., but at this moment, we are mostly dry for our area. There are some showers and storms near Green Bay, but we really haven't seen a lot of precipitation in southern Wisconsin. It's mostly been the central and northern portion of the state today. Current temperatures are still in the middle to upper 70s. It is a very mild evening. Evening and overnight it's going to remain mild, although temperatures are going to drop to at least the middle 60s, maybe even down to the upper 50s. But taking a look at the highs from today, 87 degrees in Madison. That is not a record, but it would have been the record yesterday. So that shows you just how warm uh, today was. 91 in Boscobel also. Easily the warmest day of the year so far. And looking at the forecast going forward, this will likely stay as the warmest day of the year so far for quite a bit because although we're going to be warm tomorrow, we're not going to be quite as warm as we were today. So overnight lows will be around 60, maybe dropping into the 50s for western and northern counties, but overall still going to be an above average night with a very nice Sunday. But we do have an alert day in the forecast. I'll talk more in detail about that coming up a bit later. All right, Jacob, we'll see you then. The Dane County Sheriff's Office says one person is dead after a crash in the town of Albion. It happened last night around 1030 near the intersection of Wisconsin Highway 73 and Edgerton Road. Sheriff's Office confirming to News 3 Now the victim was 39 years old. They are not releasing their identity at this time. 
And the forest man accused of plotting to sexually assault and kill his former classmate in 2022 has pleaded no contest to a charge of attempted first degree intentional homicide. 21 year old Gabriel Savage was charged with four counts of attempted first degree intentional homicide, attempted first degree sexual assault of a child with the threat of force and attempted first degree sexual assault. Savage pleaded no contest to one of the attempted homicide charges and the other charges were dismissed. Judge Jason Reynolds accepted the plea and found Savage guilty, but not guilty due to mental disease or defect. An investigation is underway after a human arm was discovered in Illinois that may be tied to a murder in Wisconsin. According to the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office, the arm was found Saturday night on a beach in Waukegan, Illinois. Investigators are now conducting the DNA testing to determine if the female arm belongs to 19 year old Sade Robinson. The Milwaukee woman disappeared after a first date on April 1st. The following day, Robinson's severed leg was found in a park and more rem remains believed to be hers were found in Milwaukee. Police have charged Maxwell Anderson and Robinson's death. Now to more local news, who doesn't love Girl Scout cookies? There's a few that I enjoy. They mainly involve peanut butter. But every year, almost everywhere, there's lots of Girl Scouts in uniform on deck to sell the delicious cookies. For all their hard work and their amazing entrepreneurial spirit, they get a special day to celebrate. Today, hundreds of Badgerland Girl Scouts showed up at Camp Brandenburg for VIP Cookie Day. And with over 570 Girl Scouts earning the title of top cookie seller, meaning that many of the girls sold over 600 boxes of cookies, and amongst the Girl Scouts, there were 39 who were tip-top sellers, meaning they sold more than 2,024 boxes of cookies. We are just so pleased at the work that they've done. These are just amazing girls. They're entrepreneurs. They're they're really uh, doing things that they are enjoying, and that's what happens when they sell cookies. And we'd like to give a special shout out to one Girl Scout, Willow Wales, a fourth grader from Janesville. She sold 7,214 boxes. Yes, you heard that right, which is way more than any Girl Scout in the state of Wisconsin. And good job to Willow and all the Girl Scouts out there. Now, when I was a kid, I often thought about what I wanted to be when I grew up. A doctor, lawyer, singer, maybe even a news anchor. Well, today, Kids Building Wisconsin set out to inspire and encourage kids' interest in construction with their 10th annual event dedicated to the construction industry. We are at our 10th annual Kids Building Wisconsin event focused on the skilled trades and um, getting kids in early to get real life hands on experience with all the careers in construction. Held at McKee Farms in Fitchburg, it was a day fulfilled of learning with over 50 interactive exhibits. It was a great way to show families the exciting potential that a career in construction has to offer. And earlier today in Madison, early childhood action needed, child care change makers, among other groups, held a statewide rally for child care funding on the Capitol steps overlooking State Street. Their goal is to raise awareness about the child care crisis and advocate for improvement in what they believe is a flawed system. There are families who are paying upwards of $1,700 a month for child care for infants. And imagine if you add one or two kids to that, folks are having kids um, kind of around the same time. It's absolutely unaffordable. It's egregious how much the cost of care is, but at the same time, child care workers are not seeing those wages. The groups are working on creating an economic system that invests in child care labor, just like any other industry to provide quality and safe child care. Now to Israel, where police in Tel Aviv used water cannons to disperse protesters who were calling for the release of all hostages in Gaza and for the resignation of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. In Gaza tonight, the focus is on the fighting that has left Palestinians with nowhere to run. CBS's Amats Tiyab is in Tel Aviv. It's some of the fiercest fighting seen in the northern Jabalia refugee camp in months. The Israeli military said in January it had dismantled Hamas's command structure across Gaza's north. But now, says a resurgent Hamas, are back. But it's in the southern city of Rafah, where despite overwhelming international pressure, including from President Biden, not to carry out an offensive there, Israel is now in the 10th day of what it's calling a precise operation. But strikes like this, leaving behind massive craters and streets where civilians had been sheltering, are anything but precise. 
Enough already, says Um Saeed. I'm 57 years old and have never seen a war like this. Every time the Israeli army orders us to a safe zone, it's not safe. The worsening violence comes as the Israeli military said tonight it had recovered the remains of hostage Ron Benjamin, who was believed killed on October 7th. On Friday, it was also announced the remains of three others, Amit Buskila, Itza Galarenter and Shani Luke were also retrieved. Shani's mother, Ricarda, told us the family were told in December that there was strong evidence the 22-year-old had been killed before her body was taken into Gaza. And that while it was difficult to learn Shani's remains had been found, it was also a relief. How will you honor her memory going forward? I wanted to remember her really as the light that she was for us and for other people. She really believed in peace and she, she told us once even that there are no bad people. There are just people that have a bad time. I mean, that was her, what she said all the time. NPR's Time, CBS News, Tel Aviv. Coming up next on News 3 Now with 10, with AI developing before our eyes, we found out why one of the technology's most influential people is stepping away from its development. And Jacob Montesano is back with a full check of your first one forecast when we return. Owning my own home is nice. You can just come home knowing that it's yours. It's a sense of pride, sense of ownership, and enjoying it with everyone I love and care for. Make a lasting impact on local families in need. Please donate today. Hey, bud. You still coming over? Chili's almost ready. Great, on my way. Be there in a few. Hey, buddy. I'm starting to get a little worried about you. The seatbelt. Give me a call when you get a chance. Love you. Get up to 60% off list prices on hundreds of items at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible deals like this brand new Chase with storage that's also a sleeper, just $4.49. This complete wicker set with table, just $8.99. Or get a free ottoman with this sectional. Maybe you're looking for a comfy sofa? That's just $3.99. Up to 60% off list at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Do not miss this one. We really need to redo the roof. It's leaking. We are not redoing the roof without getting new gutters. The gutters can wait until I get... Ah, uh, happy spouse, happy house. Exactly. Wait. For home improvement guaranteed to make everyone happy, everyone can agree on 1-800-HANSON's because our durable, energy-efficient, and weather-resistant roofing is guaranteed for life. Get 50% off installation or no interest and no payments for two full years. Call 1-800-HANSON's. Get it done. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best-in-class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. Or get 57.50 total value on this Silverado when you trade in an eligible vehicle. That's 10% below MSRP. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. At Papa Murphy's, we build your pizza with the freshest ingredients. You take it and bake it fresh in your oven. So technically, I make the pizza. Right now, get the limited time Taco Grande pizza. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Monday at 10, toxic water, poison families at a military base. Now a local veteran shares his struggles applying for government help for his sick wife. They're fighting it. I'm looking for answers to why these toxic water denials keep happening. Monday at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. The United Auto Workers have failed to unionize workers at a pair of Mercedes-Benz plants in Alabama. On Friday, more than half of the workers voted no, but the UAW is still hailing on the decision as a positive sign. CBS's Michael George has details. A defeat for Mercedes-Benz employees who hope to join the United Auto Workers. You know, it didn't break the way we wanted it to, but at the end of the day, 
something. We've all got to go back in there and we got to work together. The movement to unionize saw opposition not just from the company, but also the Republican governor of Alabama, Kay Ivey, who tweeted after the vote, we are not the sweet home to UAW. Mercedes-Benz said in a statement, our goal throughout this process was to ensure every eligible team member had the opportunity to participate in a fair election. On Friday, 56% of workers voted against unionizing. Labor expert Professor Harley Shaken says the fact that the vote was close shows UAW is making gains in the South. It is very significant that the union got 44% of the vote. That's a strong first time showing. Just last month, UAW scored a big win in Tennessee as Volkswagen workers overwhelmingly voted to unionize. UAW President Sean Fain says they aren't giving up on Mercedes-Benz. This isn't a failure. Um, it's, this isn't fatal. This is a, this is a... Michael George, CBS News, New York. An executive for an artificial intelligence research organization says he's leaving the company because of safety concerns. Jan Leakey resigned from his leading role on OpenAI's super realignment team earlier this week. He now says the move is due to his disagreement with OpenAI leadership's core priorities and his team was under-resourced. Leakey's exit comes amid a broader leadership shuffle at OpenAI. OpenAI co-founder and chief scientist Ela sutz Kavekirk is also leaving the company. A popular chain restaurant abruptly closes dozens of locations, and the Dow hits a milestone. Christine Lazar has more on this Ion Consumer Report. The Dow Jones closed above 40,000 points for the first time in history this week. The S&P 500 and NASDAQ also hit record highs. The milestone came after a report that indicated inflation may be cooling. The Consumer Price Index report showed prices rose 3.4% from last April. That's slightly lower than March's 3.5%. Grocery stores and car dealerships are where consumers found the biggest price relief. More than 50 Red Lobster restaurants across the U.S. abruptly shuttered their doors this week. The seafood chain has recently struggled, reporting millions in losses last year that were partially blamed on its endless shrimp deal. The closings are across more than 20 states, including five locations in Texas and California. And Swift Economics is sweeping Europe. Barclays Bank estimates Taylor Swift's Eras Tour will bring more than a billion dollars to the UK economy next month. Thousands of U.S. fans are crossing the ocean to see the icon in Europe, where tickets are much cheaper than they were in the States. An estimated 20% of the tickets to her four sold-out shows in Sweden were purchased by Americans. Those are some of the week's top consumer stories. I'm Christine Lazar, CBS News, Los Angeles. Switching gears now, let's go look at your first one forecast with meteorologist Jacob Montesano. Jacob. Thanks, Jalen. Here's a look at the three things you need to know going forward. We are going to see another warm day on Sunday. We do have an alert day on Tuesday for the possibility of severe weather. But after the storms, temperatures aren't going to be quite as warm as we are going to see high temperatures uh, back near uh, 70. So still comfortable for this time of year, but not as warm as they were today or will be tomorrow. Current radar mostly dry for southern Wisconsin, still seeing some showers and storms up north in Green Bay. We did have that one storm produces a severe thunderstorm warning in Sauk County and a few other showers and storms uh, for Richland and Crawford counties, but overall we really have been fairly dry today and we're certainly going to be dry tomorrow with high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Plenty of sunshine is expected as well, but then the alert day comes on Tuesday. We are going to, this is for all of Southern Wisconsin and we are expecting some strong storms and some of these storms could produce very strong winds and possibly large hail and even an isolated tornado. So all hazards are on board and we also have a severe weather risk on Monday. But Monday, we don't have an alert day in the forecast because A, it's only a marginal risk, and B, we want to highlight uh, Tuesday specifically because right now it does look like that some of these storms on Tuesday could be very intense. So looking at the forecast, this is starting Sunday night. That's when the rain will move in. M overnight Sunday into early Monday is when we are expecting the start of the precipitation. And throughout the damn Monday, we could see some showers and storms, and a few of them could be severe. But the strongest storms will come on Tuesday. However, if you notice, Monday, we could see rain for most of the day, although we likely are going to see some dry points. Tuesday, we're going to be dry for a good portion of the day, but that will fuel the severe weather during the evening hours. It will move into our area from the southwest and really impact our area during the evening hours.
And as I talked about earlier, we could see hail, large, uh, excuse me, hail, gusty winds, and maybe even an isolated tornado during the evening Tuesday. Some rain will continue overnight into early Wednesday, but we should be mostly dry after sunrise on Wednesday. So looking at the total precipitation, we could be talking about rainfall over an inch for a few locations. The heaviest rain will be to the west of our area over in Iowa and Minnesota, but a lot of this is going to also be indicative on where the storms form, but it does look like pretty much our entire area will see um, heavy rain at some point. So it's going to be a pretty active day, and but looking at the temperatures, it's also going to cool things off, but still comfortable for the middle and end of next week as we have high temperatures near 70. And today's the first day where the average high is at 70 degrees. So anytime it's in the 60s, that's now below average. So here's a full look at the 7 to 10 day forecast. We are going to see another chance of rain towards the end of next week and beginning of the following week. But as I mentioned, temperatures will still be comfortable, just not the 87 degrees that we saw today. Still can't believe it got that warm. The 91 in basketball as well. A very warm day, but as I've been talking about Tuesday, it's going to be a pretty active day, but the good thing is that it looks like the strongest storms will be after people are already home from work, but uh, definitely just keep an eye out on that. We'll provide more details as it gets closer. And stay inside for sure once they get home. But speaking of today, I was walking around at the farmer's market. I dressed I had like white clothes on my short my shorts like whitish colored had some lighter colored shoes and I'm like okay just in case it is warm I'll be okay but I was still out there sweating just with how warm it was yeah I, I'm not a fan of this weather and obviously you know I was aware it was gonna happen and because I you know had this shift I decided to sleep in and yeah. by the time I woke up I was like it's too hot for me it's so I, I just stayed indoors all day and I'm okay with that I got you well sounds good thank you Jacob Coming up in sports, the third round of the PGA Championship. Who heads into the final day with the lead? Andrew has that and more next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. We're in the middle of seizing the date. <laughs> in the middle of the perfect pairing. <laughs> and parking it here for the night. So come get away. Together. Illinois, the middle of everything. Best areas that we found, unfortunately, which is probably the area that people we found were suffering the most, was from tax. Mm -hmm. And so by building this wealth optimization team, right, where we can bring in CFAs, CFPs, tax attorneys, CPAs, and really get to the heart of the matter of, you know, targeted, you know, risk institutionally managed portfolios to specialized indexing strategies to basically helping people make that transition from accumulation to distribution and understand that it's a whole nother game. Old windows? Compromise your home's comfort. Vinyl windows, a 1970s relic, aren't built for extreme weather. They warp and crack, becoming vulnerable to the elements. At Next Door and Window, we have the answer. Fiberglass. Our Ultrex fiberglass windows last up to 50 years, longer than any other window you can buy. And while other companies cut corners and never call you back, we've got your back. When you demand tomorrow's comfort, Next delivers. Visit nextwindow.com to learn more. Need inspiration? Shop Pick and Save. For over 30,000 mouth-watering choices, plus savings like digital coupons worth over $600 each week and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump. Pick and Save is worth it every time. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. My son, Nick, took illicit fentanyl, which cost him his life. And knowing that my son is never coming back is the worst thing that I will have to live with for the rest of my life. 
Tammy Baldwin's been with us every step of the way. She just got a major bill passed to really crack down on fentanyl. She doesn't just talk the talk, but she actually walks the walk. I cannot tell you how much we appreciate Tammy Baldwin fighting this fight. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Former Wisconsin men's hockey coach Marco Siki held his sixth annual Casting for Kids fishing tournament today. 80 boats buoy the waters, looking to reel in the most fish, and you couldn't have asked for a better day here in Madison. And these fishermen, they tried to haul up each and every fish in Madison's five lakes and kept raising money for the Carbone Cancer Center. Afterwards, at a silent auction, and that is why Mark does this. He gets so excited to help his community, he still gets those game day jitters. I think what's most rewarding, again, working with the people and seeing the people. Again, they're phenomenal. That's what this thing's all about. But you see kids coming through here right now that have been affected by uh, things at the children's hospital, different diseases, cancer. And you're seeing them, and you see the effects, potentially what our awareness. We're not raising that much money yet, uh, but the awareness certainly is going to help. And Jeff Sanger said it best. Uh, no one went through the, the children's hospital and the cancer uh, center, and he's a survivor. And our little bit that we're doing here helps. It really helps. Right. Well, speaking of hockey, last night Ryan Suter and Joe Pavelski got that much closer to their first Stanley Cup. The former Badgers beat the Colorado Avalanche as, of course, members of the Dallas Stars. Thanks to this beautiful assist from Joe Pavelski, 16 just taps it out, and that is what you call playoff hockey. Brewers down in Houston trying to even the series with the Strohs. Tied at one in the fifth, and William Contreras comes to the plate. You know what's going to happen here. Truly one of the best players in baseball. Smashes a homer and brings in two more Brewers with him. Getting this guy could go down as an all-time get. Hitting 350 with seven taters and 37 RBIs on the year. And was the difference maker tonight. The crew wins 4-2. to two. Beloit College's second straight trip to the NCAA D3 baseball tournament unfortunately ended short today. They lost each of their first two games in their regional with today's loss ending their campaign. A fantastic season for the Bucs. But meanwhile, in Whitewater, things couldn't be going all that much better. A blowout win, and I mean a blowout, 20-3 win today, and they move into the final day of their regional, which we'll have full coverage of tomorrow, undefeated. They just need to win one game to advance. Headed out to Baltimore, where Ray Lewis gets the people ready for the Preakness Stakes. Closing in on the final wrap on a muddy day in Maryland. And it is Seize the Gray who seizes the day. Yes, Seize the Gray is your Preakness Stakes winner in 2024. Mystic Dan finishes second, meaning we will not have a Triple Crown winner in 2024. Third round of the PGA Championship. Justin Thomas trying to work his way back into the mix of things. Tries a flop shot on 14, and this isn't going to go in. No way. But could it? What a roll for Thomas and it works his way to the cup. The Louisville native works to 10 under on the tourney. But the two men entering the major's final day with the lead. Well, here they are. The X-Man Xander gets the putt to go. He and Colin Moriwaka will enter the final round tied at 15 under. And of course, you couldn't ask for a better day in sports. But really, talking about Marco Siki, what he's doing for these yeah. kids, I mean, six years, $600,000 raised. Can't really say much more. Yeah, he's doing great work, but sounds good. Thank you, Andrew. We'll be back with more after this. on into Fleet Farm to take your lawn and garden to the next level this spring. This week, get miracle Grow Garden Soil on sale for only $3.99. Pick up three pounds of Scott's Turf Builder Sun and Shade Grass Seed at the lowest price of the season, just $12.99. And stop by our garden center to shop over a hundred different types of seed and plant varieties. Find everything you need for your everyday life at Fleet Farm. Hi, I'm Jeff from Nuts.com. When my grandfather started this business in 1929, he relied on four important values. Freshness, quality, variety, and service. I'm proud to carry on his legacy, but from a bigger space. We still freshly roast, season, and dip delicious nuts here in New Jersey and deliver them with the freshest dried fruits, snacks, and sweets to families that love our products all around the country, including mine. We think you'll love Nuts.com, too. So check us out and enjoy 20% off plus free shipping on your first order. You've got this. You didn't think your sister would take you up on the dog sitting offer, but here you are. Barriers purchased. Doggy distractions, no expense spared. Yeah, you've got this. 
just like Associated Banks got you with $50 overdraft grace zone. So when you have to make a purchase, or seven, to prepare, you can be sure we're looking out for you. So you can look out for him. You've got this with Associated Bank. You can visibly eliminate wrinkles and under-eye bags in 10 minutes with results that last up to 10 hours without needles and without surgery. Plexiderm does it for only $14.95. Visit PlexidermTrial.com. Nobody kicks off festival season like Stoughton because nobody runs a festival like Stoughton or crafts a festival like Stoughton. The fact is, nobody eats up a festival like Stoughton. The Sit into My Festival in Stoughton starts May 17th. Blackberry Smoke. I ride my pony ride out of this one horse town. Live in concert. Be right here to it. Well, I'm still holding on and it ain't right after me. No. Saturday, July 6th at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Yeah, Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster. Don't miss Blackberry Smoke live. Bad sleep? The worst. There's really no excuse for bad sleep. During the Memorial Day Super Sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Get 100 bucks off every 1000 you spend and watch the savings stack up. Or check out the Summit Easy on the Wallet for only $299.99. Save up to $200 on our Doctor's Choice lineup, plus six years no interest and free shipping. The Memorial Day Super Sale, on now at Denver Mattress. Kyle Pazorski, News 3 Now, weekend mornings, moving forward. Well, Jacob, it seems like we've got a busy week up ahead when it comes to weather. Yeah, what but should they expect? Yeah, thankfully, we're going to have another nice day for your Sunday. So for those of you that liked the weather today, well, it's going to be very nice again for Sunday. But then storms are expected Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday, we have an alert day. Uh, the storms Tuesday evening could especially be strong. I advise everyone to stay alert for that day. We'll have more details as it, as it gets closer, though. All right, well, sounds good. I know you and our weather team will do a great job tracking it. But as for you guys, we'll see you tomorrow. And as always, thank you for making it a great evening.